Hi, David Zeritsky here for a very special podcast. You see, my friends at Lands End Canvas have sent me this incredible moleskin canvas jacket to try out. Go out into the world, live the life of an adventurer. But let's talk about the moleskin jacket itself. First of all, what on earth is moleskin? This is not fur. I don't want anybody to throw paint on this. It's not made out of real moles, you see. Moleskin is actually a, uh, a, a cotton that is grown actually very long, pulled up, and then shorn. And what happens is you get this very, very, very soft type of feel to it. The campus jacket itself is built off of the old 1950s, 1960s type campus jacket. It almost has a Steve McQueen type feel to it with elbow patches, unlined, mind you. And yet, we're going to actually track this out in the wild and see if it gives us some warmth. You can see that it's incredibly tailored and fitted with very, very special details like the pocket, for example, having a seam up the center. Some really, really nice details as well as a place, a modern day touch, if you will, for your phone. And not much more to it, but it's a great piece to pair with a lot of different things if you're especially into that denim streetwear look, that hipster look, um, or just looking for something a little bit more Northeast Nantucket preppy. I think you're going to really enjoy this. Now, I've worn this for business aspects since I'm in the agency world as well as fun. We're going to give it a real trial out there today, see if it stacks up in three degree weather. Let's go try it out. Well, we are actually here in Princeton, New Jersey at Princeton University. Very apt place to talk about the Moleskin campus coat right on a campus, one of the most world famous campuses. Absolutely beautiful. But there's another reason why we're standing here. Even though the sun is shining, it looks beautiful, very iconic campus, it is three degrees out. So, one of the things we're trying to test is Lands End Canvas has delivered to us a moleskin jacket, and we've talked you through the process of that. But moleskin is supposed to be very soft, but it's also supposed to be very durable, and it's supposed to be windproof. And I'm telling you right now, I am extremely toasty, meaning this thing is really doing the job. Lands End has always been known as a company that brings you things that are both good, durable, and active wear that can actually be used, and Lands End Canvas continues to deliver. By the way, some little details of note that are a little bit more fashionable. You can see that there is a working button. Um, actually, all the buttons are working on the jacket. Some of the more blazers that you find on Salvo Row, the more bespoke blazers that you can get have working buttons. I think this is a great touch. Um, small bit of controversy, some of those fasc fashionados out there uh, don't like the working buttons because they feel like if they need to shorten the sleeves, they want to be able to move the buttons. I think it's a great touch, especially around the affordability of the jacket itself. Um, another great touch is, is that it's very fitted. I mean, you can see how it fits in the back. Um, one of the things that Land's End Canvas has promised, different than Land's End, is a bit more European look, more fitted. So on this particular jacket, we have higher armholes. They're a little bit more thinner, and it's a better fitted all around jacket. So what they've done, and I think actually quite successfully, is combined preppy Americana with a European type style and fit. And they've done it extremely well. So as we leave these hollowed halls, if you will, of Princeton University with my campus code intact. Just know that this travels around from business to pleasure to, again, even a campus-like atmosphere extremely well. Value? Incredibly so. Right now, this campus jacket is $129. Comparable coats at J. Crew and Banana Republic and other places are much more expensive, even Brooks Brothers. This one has an incredibly good value. Highly recommend it. This is David Zeritsky. We'll see you soon.